to begin our workshop this morning, I want to invite you to stand as we begin with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Gracious and mighty God, we thank you for this wonderful day that you have. Ministry of Agriculture and its regional partners will feature all things coconut next week at the Grenada Trade Center, June 12th, thank opening you. ceremony. The opportunity that we have that we can discuss matters as it relates to the coconut industry development here in Grenada and throughout the region. Father, we thank you for all the resource persons that you have gathered together here. And we pray, God, as, that, as we deliberate over the week, that, Father, we will truly be able to learn and to understand all that we need to do. But more importantly, that we would get a greater uh, enthusiasm and a drive to do what is necessary to continue to transform the coconut industry in the region. So we commit this training into your hand and we pray, Father, for your guidance and your wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Iran Francois and I am the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives here in Grenada. And I'm going to be your chairman for this morning opening ceremony. And so first of all, let me recognize at the head table, Senator the Honorable Adrian Thomas, Minister with Responsibility for Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives. His Excellency, Luis Manuel Lopez Morena, Ambassador of Mexico, to the Eastern Caribbean states. I want to also recognize Mr. Reginald Andal, the National Specialist for the Caribbean Agriculture Research and Development Institute. Dr. Wayne Myrie from the Coconut Industrial Board in Jamaica. Mr. William Castro Rodriguez from the International Trade Center. Other special invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen all, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that sounds like, yeah, we're here to discuss coconut, eh? And coconut is oil. See, it's supposed to be energy. Okay? It is an honor for me to welcome you to this very important regional training workshop and exhibition. On behalf of the government of and people of Grenada, and in particular the management of the Ministry of Agriculture here in Grenada, I extend a warm and spicy welcome to each of you to the Spice Island of Grenada. To our first time visitors, and I hope we have some of you here, let me extend a special welcome to you and to urge you to enjoy the warmth of our Grenadian hospitality. For others like William, who are here not for the first time, I encourage you to continue to explore and enjoy the offerings of Pio Grenada. I know that William has already arranged for having our Grenadian oil down. We are all gathered here to discuss over the course of the week what I regard as one of the most important commodities in our food chain, coconut. Almost every aspect of the country's industry from, sorry, almost every aspect of the coconut industry from preparing planting material to the processing of coconut-based products I am told would be touched on during this week. The importance of oil and oil products in maintaining a healthy diet is well known. Many of us have fond memories 
of many delicacies that we enjoy from coconut-based confectionaries and other products. Today, almost every chef wants a dash of coconut in his or her meal preparation. And every one of us look forward to enjoying a refreshing drink of coconut water, as I see exhibited in the, in the picture over there. The contribution of coconuts to supporting human livelihoods goes even further. In Grenada, for example, for decades, coconut trees were used to line our coastal areas, acting both as windbreaks and soil conservation measures. Unfortunately, the passage of Hurricane Ivan and Emily in 2004 and 2005 largely devastated that site. As a boy growing up, I recall having to collect the coconut shells to use as fuel for baking and cooking, including using it to roast breadfruit for our meal next day. As you will see from the exhibition, the use of the coconut has penetrated almost every facet of our livelihood, including our folktale culture. Indeed, many of us still remember our old folk song, Coconut Woman is Crying Out. And every day you can hear her shout, get your coconut water. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to recognize and thank our many partners, including the European Union, the International Trade Center, the Caribbean Agricultural Institute, and, Me and the Mexican government for supporting us in hosting this regional training workshop and exhibition. Permit me to especially single out the Mexi Mexican government, who after funding previous training insisted that the information be passed on through further training sessions. We therefore trust that this that the experiences this week here in Grenada would indeed be a very transformative one for you, the participants, and for the coconut industry in the region. I therefore welcome each of you again and extend my best wishes for a successful workshop. Thank you. right ahead as we continue the opening ceremony. And I want to invite uh, to the podium at this time one of our close partners here in Grenada, the Caribbean Agriculture Research Institute, Mr. Reginald Andal, the National Specialist, to make some remarks. Let's welcome Mr. Andal. Thank you very much, P.S. Francois, for your warm introduction. I stand on the protocol already established. It is a great pleasure to stand here and speak on behalf of CARDI, not only from a Grenadian perspective, but also from a regional and international perspective. Because over the recent past, over the past few years, CARDI in collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture, the International Trade Center, the European Union with funding for the coconut project from the European Union through the International Trade Center. CADI has been integrally involved in assisting the development of the coconut industry across the region. 
We are very pleased to be involved in this training sessions this week. And we want to recognize the, the avid determination of Mr. Troy Augustine, whose brainchild it was to put on this training session and exhibition. And we have been giving him the support, as also he has received the support from other stakeholders. I just want to itemize some of the key involvements of Cardi has been making in the coconut industry in Grenada in the recent past because we recognize the vast importance of this industry. The country of Grenada has suffered setbacks from Hurricane Ivan and the coconut industry was severely impacted. And even to this day, we are still experiencing some of those negative Yes, so I was saying we still experiencing some of the negative consequences of the coconut industry from Hurricane Ivan. However, with funding from the European Union through ITC, we have, I said in the recent past with the coconut project, have been doing a various number of activities, for example, training of farmers, extension officers in little yellowing and coconut production agronomy, also in nursery management, processing and food safety. We have recognized the shortfall of planting material has been an issue and therefore we have been involved in supplying over 20 acres of planting material to a number of different farmers across the country. We have also been involved in trying to promote the coconut industry using social media, and also radio. With reference to improving the supply of planting material, we have supported the development of two private nurseries, one at the farmers group called Grenrop, and another at a private personality, that's Mr. Peter Wills. And especially with Mr. Peter Wills, that has been able to help supply planting material to a number of different farmers. We have also been involved in trying to manage the South American farm weevil. And during the course of this week, we, in, we shall be 
promoting some of the, or, or reporting and in educating some of the aspects of our management of, of this um, weevil so that participants can be further bring up to speed with some of the techniques that we have been promoting. So we are very pleased to participate in this week of training and exhibition with the Ministry of Agriculture, ITC, European Union, the Mexican Embassy, and let me also state that we, in the recent past, have been collaborating with AICA in helping to support the, the production of the, of the Mexican jumplasm coconuts that they were instrumental in, together with the Ministry of Agriculture, to introduce into Grenada way back in 2016 and plants which were distributed to farmers in 2017. So let me close by saying many thanks to the organizers of this week of activities for involving us in this venture. And CARDI will continue to support the development, not only of the coconut industry in the region, and Grenada in particular, but many other aspects of the agricultural industry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Handel, for those remarks. Let me also, before I bring on the next speaker, let me recognize our uh, CARICOM member state participants who are here, stretching down from Guyana, Suriname, going up to all the way up to Jamaica. We are indeed glad that you can make it and to be part of this training. I want to also recognize the past national specialist for ICA, who is with us, Mr. Derek Charles. Also, our agroprocessors and exhibitors who are here and also farmers and ministry staff. Thank you for joining us in this opening ceremony. I want to, at this time, bring to the podium Mr. William Castro from the International Trade Center to bring some remarks to us. Thank you, P.S. Um, thank you, everyone, for, for being here. I also stand um, and observe all protocols already established. Um, for us, for the International Trade Center, it's, it's great to be here, um, to be present with all of you, to have a lovely week talking about coconuts. I've been working for coconuts already, with coconuts already, almost eight, ten years, and I know all of you are very passionate when we begin talking about water, oil, the meat. So, yeah, I'm already trying to get some patience to hear all this question <laughs> all week and all going crazy for coconuts. So, of course, please um, let me say thank you to the Ministry of Agriculture for, for hosting us and the government of Grenada. Um, it's great to have been that you are hosting this regional engagement. This really stands out. Um, as the importance that you place in, into coconuts um, for the development of, of the region, for the farmer, for the agro-processors. It's very great to have all these um, bright minds in the same place. Um, with the, our colleague from the Coconut Industry Board in Jamaica, you have um, Nare in, in Guyana, Silo, Suriname, etc. So um, the presence of the different um, staff from the Ministry of Agriculture that are really working together and closely with the farmers to help them to improve 
the life conditions, basically. And um, of course, a special recognition to Mr. Troy Agustin that is dragging us, all of us here, and really pushing to make this um, um, happen. And also, uh, colleague Alison also from the ministry who's are giving great support um, for this. So this initiative, as was um, discussed before, is funded by the European Union through a Carry Forum initiative. So it's very great to really see in practical terms how this regional collaboration um, means, um, you know, physically, in presence, tactically, that to he already seeing you discuss, and we, have, we haven't had any even two hours with the trainings, but you're already discussing important matters on how to collaborate, on how to integrate more cooperation from the, gov from the Mexico, um, government of Mexico, for example, have also been um, very um, supportive to the, for the region. And already see the different um, companies and colleagues interact on, on how do you do things, um, how do you really make your, your process better. I said, this is the whole intention of, of, of being here this, this week. To, to, we never stop learning, so it's to continue to learn, it's to continue to, um, to integrate more the region, to really act as, a, as an unity, as, 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 a, as a, is the intention of all of our governments. Um, I'm very, I'm very happy and pleased, most of all, that my, my special request for the oil down is it was not forgotten. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward, really looking forward to that. And um, it's, it's very good. So as, as you all know, and we always stand out in every of our meetings, that we are doing together in what we call Alliances for Action. So it's about integration. It's about doing everything in partnership. And it's important for us to work together with the entire value chain especially with what we call the, the unsung heroes, which is, are the farmers, the small companies, which are struggling every day with many challenges, um, with competition, with pests, with hurricanes, with all the, all the things that we know is very difficult for the farmers and the company to, to stand out. So it's very good to have also the ecosystem um, supportive this development, and as the ministry is doing, CARDI, um, CC, CIB, and other, all the partners that we're working together towards development of the, of the coconut value chain. Um, so I, I really hope that this week um, we, we, can, we can integrate more, um, that this, this week can be, can be also the, the initiation for even something larger, that we can replicate this in, in every country in the region and we can, that we can get together, all of us, to, to learn more and, and, and develop. So thank you all, um, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I really look forward for, uh, for our fruitful week um, talking all, all about coconuts. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, William. And William has been behind the scene helping really to organize this, this, this training workshop. So William, we, we thank you very much. Um, at this time, I understand that His Excellency Luis Lopez Morena is not new to coconuts. In fact, he hinted to me that he has a great passion for coconuts. And so we are really delighted when he accepted our invitation to come here to this workshop. So I now invite His Excellency to the podium. Thank you much, P.S. Uh, <clears throat> well, good morning to everyone. I'm very happy to be here. And as the P.S. mentioned, it's not my first time working on coconut. We had several experiences, very productive and very important experiences, uh, donating and working to grow coconut in, uh, in the Caribbean states in St. Lucia and Grenada before in 2016 and the 17, and with magnificent results that now we have several plants from Mexico, uh, palm trees resilient to the yellow disease. And now I confirm that they are now producing coconut in Grenada and in St. Lucia. And soon we will talk and work about to do more. Uh, allow me to adopt the protocol that was, has been established, and, uh, but to uh, recognize uh, Mrs. Magdalena Terrazas Fielding, that the, is the Honorary Consul of Mexico, please stand up. 
and this is is a is a Mexican lady that is an entrepreneur here in Grenada and the owner of the Trouble Bay Resort. So we have the honorary consul there. When you visit the Doggy Dog, the restaurant, please uh, look to the right and you can see, we'll see the honorary consul of Mexico there. So we are very happy. Well, the Mexican community has uh, in touch uh, with her and is very supported with some of the projects that we are now working with, um, with Grenada. Um, as, a, as the ambassador of Mexico to the six states that make up the Eastern Caribbean, it is an enormous privilege for me to be present at this opening ceremony and to participate in the works of the regional coconut training for sustainable development of the coconut industry in Grenada whose um, objectives are, and allow me mention them again, because it's very important. What are the objects of this uh, uh, meeting? First is to strengthen the capacity of coconut farmers and technical officers with improved and innovative strategies. And second, care and management of the coconut plots, pests and disease through a farmer's field school training to move the sector forward through commercialization and the agro-processing of coconut. It is very important to mention that the, <clears throat> before to come here, I developed some encounter with the uh, executive director from the Mexican Agency for International Cooperation for Development of Mexico. And it's an honor to convey to you uh, one message from the executive director, Dr. Laura Elena Carrillo Cubillas, who, in addition to sending you warm greetings, requests to reiterate, reiterate that for Mexico and for Amexid and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Mexico, this training is of high importance and wishes success when you discharge the topics, the themes of the agenda, which are special which are of special relevance for the development and consolidation of the coconut industry in the Caribbean. Mexico congratulates and acknowledges the effort of the government of Grenada and the national and international institutions, institutions that participate in the organization and financing of this training, which consists with the comprehensive strategy for strengthening the coconut industry in the Caribbean that my country started more than three years ago, and as I mentioned before, in 2016 and 2017, and the following years. Um, we started this program uh, three years ago in 2019 as part of the collaboration between Mexico and the Caribbean community, community through a first workshop focused on a crop resilient to climate change. A few months later, in February 20, 2020, we held the second workshop which focused on in vitro culture techniques for this product. However, just one month after this activity, the COVID-19 pandemic reached, reached out the region and forced the indefinite suspension of that will be the third and last workshop of this initiative with CARICOM. No standing and given the good result that they derived or the read from this the strategy that I have just mentioned, Amexis received requests from various Central American countries to participate in initiatives similar to those developed with the Caribbean countries on strengthening the coconut sector and within the, that framework of the integration of, and development of Mesoamerica, it was decided to, to execute, to execute the comprehensive strategy to strengthen the coconut value chain, whose first two workshops were held in 2022 with the 10 countries that make up that region. The first workshop was uh, focused on crop resilience to climate change and rehabilitation, and include topics such as the rehabilitation of the coconut palm, evaluation of soils, and plantation and selection of seeds. It took place from June 13 to 17, 
2022 in Chetumal, Mexico, in the Caribbean region. That is a very important place that uh, for the Mexican areas to develop some areas. The second workshop was oriented to, towards the exchange of experiences on mitigation of pests, disease and genetic improvement of the coconut plant, with themes oriented to the development of seeds and ger, ger plums. You mentioned very well the, the trans, ger plums. Um, hybridization, genetic conservation, lethal yellow, yellowing of the coconut plant, and other pets. It, this uh, workshop was developed in uh, August uh, 15 to 19, uh, 2022, in Tabasco, Mexico. That is the other regions that is important because it has similar environment that is uh, uh, countries. And the, the third uh, workshop was developed recently in October 2022. That was very important because for first time we work together with the Central American region countries and the Caribbean countries. We, we had uh, the presence of uh, 16 countries, I will mention them, uh, especially from Belize, Colombia, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Grenada also with uh, Troy Agustin, uh, Guatemala, Guyana, Haiti, Honduras, Jamaica, Nicaragua, Panama, and Dominican Republic, the place of of your country, Mr. William. And it was very important because uh, at this time, the participants developed some works, uh, especially focused on uh, the, um, the compression strategy for strengthening the coconut value chain in Mesoamerica and the Caribbean. We focus on that uh, issues because it's very important to work on the value chains, if not to work in the development of the, the, the new plants and uh, the, the varieties and everything is very important, the herb plants and everything. But it's very important to work, especially in how we can work with the families together and to develop new activities for them in, the, in, our, in our region. Uh, as you will able to appreciate and not to, uh, not to go any further, I'm exceed and Mexican institutions of the agriculture and research sector, such as the Yucatan Scientific Research Center, Sisi, that Dr. Oropesa is here, and Maria from that center will develop some interventions later. Um, are present here. Uh, the, these Mexican institutions are dedicated to back up initiatives that support the promotion of, of value chains of the coconut tree, contributing to the development of, li the, of livelihoods of the people of sister nations and contributing of, to the fulfillment of regional objectives in three strategic uh, pillars. Agroindustrial development, that is very important to work on that. We are working together, as I heard today. Adaption, adaption, adop, adaptation, to the, adaptation to the climate change, disaster risk management, that is important. And I'm sure that the knowledge that will be shared here during the four days of work will not only assist with the strengthening of food security of the region, but will also boost employment and the coconut recovery of Caribbean families and in, in an industry as vital as that of the coconut. Through this and other action in the short and medium term, we will continue to working together, working together, working hand in hand to achieve the sustainable development goals, strengthen food security, and promote well-being condition in our nation. And um, again, to the authorities that are here, and you as a participants of this uh, workshop and this uh, uh, capacitation, please count on Mexico to support these activities. Uh, we have several uh, um, institutions in Mexico that work very, very carefully in these areas. and. Uh, Believe me that we have uh, a lot of expertise working and uh, talking about this kind of, of issues. So, I um, repeat, I'm not, uh, not my, my first uh, experience of talking about coconut and working directly, uh, but it's very necessary to collaborate together. And again, please, uh, to Grenada, 
you can come to Mexico and to the organization, please accept that Mexico is ready to work together with all of you. Thank you so much and have a very good day. Thank you very much, Ambassador. And in particular for the commitment that you have given and the tremendous work that Mexico continues to do in the area of coconuts. I just want to recognize at this time, even as we are on Mexico, uh, Dr. Maria, it's Dr. Maria, yes, and Dr. Oropesa, thank you for being here. These are two of the, 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 the specialists who will be working with you along um, in the coconut, uh, some of the training that will be taking place. And so we thank you for coming. Both Dr. Maria and Dr. Oropesa are from, are from Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, I am told that he is a coconut czar. Out of Jamaica. It is my honor to welcome Dr. Wayne Mary to bring us some remarks. Thank you very much, uh, P.S. Good morning, everyone. It's always good to be participating in these regional conferences. Minister, Honorable Adrian Thomas, Minister of Agriculture, Land, Fisheries, and cooperation or cooperative in Grenada. P.S. Mr. Aaron Francois of the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Fisheries and Cooperative. The European Union. Uh, Mrs. or Miss uh, Marina Arias. Mr. William Castro from ITC International Trade Center. Mr. Regional Andal, National Specialist Cardi. Dr. Cliff Riley, Head of uh, Valley Audition for Caribbean and Africa for ITC. Dr. Carlos Oropesa and Mar Dr. Maria from Central Investigacio de Yucatan. Colleagues from other regional countries and regional institutions. Last but not least, that's why we're here, the coconut farmers and also all other stakeholders. The importance of coconut cannot be overemphasized for people here in the region. If you visit the rural communities, you will recognize how important it, coconut is to farmers, producing 12 bunches per year. It adds important income uh, to our rural folks to be able to send their kids to school. There's a South Sea saying that says, he who plants a coconut tree, plant vessels and clothing, food and drink, a habitation for himself, and heritage for his children. The another saying, grass is always greener underneath the coconut tree. I would say that yes, it is greener, but especially when you are true with a hard day's work and you want some relaxation, coconut water with a bit, a tinge of rum in it is very good. Grenada recognizes the importance of coconut. And Minister, when you enter the airport, when I entered the airport yesterday, I was pleased to see 
the many pictures with coconut in it. And I actually took some of those pictures. Welcoming visitor to the paradise of Grenada. And as I mentioned paradise, paradise cannot be known or seen or observed without the coconut tree. If you look at any one of the advertisement on television, inviting people to come to enjoy the various countries in the Caribbean, a coconut tree is always present in the foreground or background. All right? It's good to be and to know that uh, coconuts are so important to us. The Coconut Industry Board, which I represent, is a sterling institution that has been around for 78 years. One that has contributed significantly to the development of coconut industry in Jamaica, but also makes regional uh, contribution. Through this ITC Cardi Regional Project, we have been a partner and are pleased to have helped in the, William, could I say success? In the success of this uh, ITC Cardi project. We know we will be treated in this regional coconut conference to knowledge and facts about uh, coconut. But most importantly, I think we should build important partnerships, strengthen relationships, and network for the development of coconut in the region. I want to thank the organizers. I want to especially mention Troy Augustine, who I have met some time ago, and I want to tell you a story, a very important story. In Malaysia, in Malaysia, Troy took all the products that he could have gotten and take it back here to Grenada. I want to put your hands together and give a round of applause for Troy Agostino. I also want to thank the Ministry of Agriculture, the PS and the Minister, who decided that they would host this important conference for the region. And I'm happy to be a part of it. I'll just put your hands together for the Minister and the PS and the Ministry of Agriculture. And I just want to close by saying, Coconut is goodness in a nutshell. Thank you very much. It's you I tell you he's the coconut czar. Thank you, Dr. Myrie, for those great comments and for your great remarks. Are we moving steadily along, but I let, permit me to also recognize in our midst uh, representatives from the, uh, the Chinese uh, mission here, People's Republic of China, our cultural mission. We are glad to have you here, colleagues from China. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before you come, let me tell you, today is his cabinet day. And um, we are happy that he can brace us with his presence. But as soon as he finishes, he would leave because he has to return. His PM will not forgive him if he does not return to the meeting. So it is my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to invite Senator the Honorable Adrian Thomas, Minister for Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives here in Grenada, to bring special remarks. Minister. Thank you very much, P.S. 
But let me inform you that the PM may not only not forgive me, he might fire me. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And I could understand why you're responding in that manner. Because when I came here this morning, I, I asked Piers for some water. And the honest truth is I expected a glass of coconut water. So, Mr. Troy, one and you. But I want to challenge the Piers that for the remaining days, I think you should supply some coco get some coconut water, at least one glass or a bottle. If you cannot get, if you will not be able to get the Prime Minister to pay for that, it's on me. So I'll be seeking the report of you all if you all got the water, P.S. I came here this morning not to really read any speech, but to talk about coconut because I had so many experience with coconut. But I will have to follow what the office carries and, and read the speech. However, before I do so, let me also urge that oil lung and dessert be served with coconut flavor at some point in time during the course of the week. I will follow up on that piece. But let me also give a story about Mr. Troy, Augustine. I'll follow my Jamaican counterpart. Three days after I got into office, a gentleman came to my door and he said, there's a young man I want to have a word with you on, this, on some coconuts. And the man spoke to me and this man is convincing. This man is serious. So, but I want to see who is this man because during the first week, couple of days, you're taking courtesy calls. And the gentleman came with files in his hand and products in a little bag. And his name was Troy Augustine. And he was trying to convince and persuade, persuader, some people call me persuader around carnival time, that coconuts is the way to go. And the honest truth, my brothers and sisters, I fall in love, I fall in love more with coconuts. And I gave Mr. Troy an opportunity to expound. And I thought he would have finished in half an hour. But he measures that in US. So it was by 2.6. But we had a good chat, and I'm happy. Comrades, before I start, let me acknowledge and recognize the head table. P.S. Francois from the Ministry of Agriculture. His, ex His Excellency Luis Lopez Moreno, Ambassador of Mexico to the Eastern Caribbean. Mr. Reginald Buckmeyer, Cardi Specialist, Dr. Wayne Mary, Coconuts Industrial Board, Jamaica, Mr. William Castro Rodriguez, International Trade Center. Also want to recognize Aika, former specialist, Mr. Derek, um, the Chinese Mission. I've seen representatives from the Ministry of Agriculture in various departments. I am seeing a GCNA representative here. I'm happy to have you because although you represent Nutmeg, I think you are embarking on some coconut project to integrate with the, with the, with, with the um, Nutmeg. And this is very good. So if you, if you're blending, anything you're blending with the black, with the black gold, I'll be, I'll be happy. Uh, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, comrades all. I extend a warm welcome to everyone, and especially our regional friends who have joined the Grenadian counterparts and the start of this regional training and exhibition. I thank the International Trade Center and the Mexican authorities for joining with a team of local and regional agriculturists to plan and implement this training and exhibition showcasing all things coconut. Let me also thank agronomist Troy Augustine and his team of organizers for working diligently to ensure this day become, became a reality. We are here at the Trade Center, and a few minutes' walk will land us on the world-famous Granite Beach. 
a stunning white sand beach with crystal clear water, and where visitors and locals can enjoy the view of the capital, St. George, whilst bathing under the golden sunshine. I have described paradise. We are in paradise. A round of applause for that. It's a pleasure to be here, and it's a pleasure to have you. Embedded in this paradise of clusters of sea grapes, shady palms of coconut trees, and a wide array of flora and fauna. Leaving the Granite's Beach in the south of the island, a local or visitor may choose to travel along the eastern coast, the western coast, or through the interior over the Granite and Hills to another popular beach, Bathway, in the north of the island. There one will again encounter clusters of sea grapes, shady palms or coconut trees, and a wide array of flora and fauna. My good friend from Jamaica was not telling tales. A common feature in all these scenic areas is a coconut tree. The nuts is lined on the interior with white edible meat and contains a milky liquid. The meat is often shredded and used in cooking as a flavoring and a dessert, among other things. It is the main ingredient in our national dish, the oil lung. Please get some. Originally from the coast of Africa and the Indian Ocean, the coconut palm was introduced to the Caribbean by early settlers, being superior, well adopted to a special maritime coast, coconut palms spread throughout the shores of the Caribbean, including here in Grenada. Since then, coconut has served a multifunctional role, making an important contribution to national food and national food security. The coconut tree and its byproduct, which include fresh green and dry nuts, copper, coconut oil, and coconut water, are consumed in significant portions here in Grenada. The coconut shell is used for various fibers, chuckles, coconut ornamental items like beads, bracelets, and earrings. The coconut fiber is also used for the making of small handicraft items. The coconut industry has played an important role in employment and income generation, especially in the rural communities. It supports the environmental trust of the government and it aids in the prevention of coastal erosion while providing charming landscapes and are attractive to both tourists and locals. Beyond the coastlines, the coconut palm is used for landscaping and home beautification. The coconut also has health properties. Studies have shown that the coconut oil prevents the formation of hepatic cholesterol esters that the lauric acid found in coconut oil provides the disease-fighting fatty acid, manolaurin, which boosts the immune system, and that coconut oil can be used to relieve dry skin and restore the youthful look by aiding the removal of the outer layer of dead skin cells, making skin appear smoother. From all of this, it can be clearly be concluded that we are dealing with a fascinating tree and its product a significant agricultural commodity, and therefore, this regional trading and ex exhibition focusing on the coconut palm is most welcome. This week-long activity expected to strengthen the capacity of coconut farmers and technical officers by providing and showcasing improved and innovative strategies, addressing issues pertaining to the care and management of coconut plots, and enhancing strategies for the control of pests and diseases. The government of Grenada welcomes this initiative. As a government and the Ministry of Agriculture, our focus is on enhancing national food and nutrition security. We therefore will not spare any efforts in our goal to attain national food and nutrition security, which can only be attained when all individuals have reliable access to sufficient quantities of affordable and nutritious food to lead a healthy life. Food, especially locally grown and produced, must therefore be available, accessible, it must be utilized, and there must be some level of stability. Brothers and sisters, fellow farmers, this project 
is very important at this time. The report linger on the Grenada, linger on the Grenada Coconut Industry Outlook 2022 to 2026, stated that Grenadian coconut production is projected to decline slightly over the next five years. By 2026, production is anticipated to reach 5,670 metric tons, down 0.6% from 2021. This follows an average year-on-year -year decline of 0.5% since 1966. The report also noted that Grenadian coconut inputs rose slightly in 2018 to 2,000 metric tons compared to 2017. Brothers and sisters, our intention is to turn around the declining trend in coconut production. We are all aware of the devastating impact of Hurricane Ivan and Emily in 2004 and 2005, respectively, on coconut production, as well as the negative impact of disease and pest infestation. In those years, our coconut industry was at its lowest level, with production reduced by as much as one half. Since then, a number of efforts have been made to resuscitate the industry and permit me to refer specifically to the support received in 2016 from the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture. Take a bow. Whereby 1,500 little yellow and resistant coconut plantlets from Mexico was added to Grenada's coconut stock as part of the ministry's coconut resuscitation program. As part of that initiative, technical staff and extension officers received training in proper management of the plantlets, and 40 coconut farmers were selected to be trained in coconut agronomy and in how to take care of the plants. They were expected to multiply the new varieties, which will then be available to the rest of the population. The intention of this endeavor was to rehabilitate the coconut industry and to have access to improved, early bearing cultivars that are high yielding, disease resistant, and of good tasting quality. I noted a report four years later in 2020, in which one farmer who received 15 of the plants were preparing for the harvesting of coconuts. The farmer was quoted as saying, and I quote, I was very happy being one of those farmers selected to grow the coconuts and to show my appreciation. The least I could have done is to take care of the coconut plants. I wanted to make sure the ministry and ICA was happy to see the work that I was doing to contribute to the rehabilitation of the coconut industry in Grenada, end of quote. I would really love to hear similar testimonies from the other 39 coconut farmers and our agricultural extension division. Grenada has been selected to host the regional coconut training and exhibition, and it is my hope that during the course of this week, this week's training, some of these farmers will be visited and the experience documented. The Ministry of Agriculture, Lands, Fisheries, and Cooperatives continues its effort not only to rehabilitate the coconut industry, but also to grow the industry and to expand the area of agro-processing using the product. Brothers and sisters, the development of the coconut industry is well integrated in the strategy and programs of the government. Last Wednesday, in my capacity as Minister with Responsibility for Agriculture and Lands, Forestry, Fisheries, and co Cooperatives, I had a media launch of our ADAPT program, the Agriculture Development Assistance Program, which we call ADAPT, is designed to assist farmers, fisher folk, horticulturists, apiculturists, and plant propagators to meet the full potential in the cultivation, management, and availability of priority agriculture commodities and marine resources. Brothers and sisters, under this program, the ministry will determine Annual, annually the priorities 
for which assistance will be provided on a scale basis as determined by a needs assessment to enable the farmers, fisher folk, horticulturists, apiculturists, and plant propagators to increase production. I am pleased to state that coconut is among the priority crops selected in the initial rollout of the ADOPT program. The intention is for coconut farmers to benefit from the program, and hence this training and exhibition is timely. The identification of beneficiaries to receive assistance under the ADOPT project commence this week. Moving beyond, beyond this training and exhibition, and as we approach the 50th anniversary of Grenada's independence, I would love to see an elaborated, long-term, integrated, and sustainable development plan for the coconut industry, whereby growth could be recorded within the next five years and the industry could, leave, could deliver benefits to all stakeholders stakeholders throughout the food the value chain. Comrades, to accomplish this, there is, a, there is a wide range of measures that could be taken, including improving access to planting material, developing a quality assurance system, improving pest management, increasing research ties to new niche market products, market research, and mobilizing funding for capacity building. Considerations could also be given to a Grenada Coconut Festival, a two to three day event around a coconut theme, theme that will feature seminars and, and exhibition as well as festival celebration. And I know this will not go unnoticed by my good friend, Troy Augustine. It is also opportune to look at the growing demand for coconut water as a beverage. The bottling and storage of coconut water for extended shelf life and improved marketability is an area needing further research and development. Consideration must also be given to the clusters of coconut trees that are populated with aged, tall trees and the cost of harvesting the coconuts and to select coconut varieties with shorter trees less time to produce, and are specifically suited for, to the water, to the water nut market with respect to flavor, yield, and ease of harvesting. Brothers and sisters, local and regional farmers are encouraged to consider whether it is viable to invest in coconut production and the byproducts. Explore whatever potential exists for supplies to both the regional and export markets in the US Canada, and the European Union. Grenada was provided with tissue culture plans to address the rehabilitation of the coconut industry through the establishment of improved early bearing cultivars that are high yielding, disease resistant, and of good tasting quality. As a nation, we are ideally placed to revitalize the once prosperous coconut industry. The potential is there for an upscale coconut industry. As you participate in this regional coconut training and exhibition, I leave you with this advice from the coconut tree. Soak up the sun. Stand tall and proud. Remember your roots. Drink plenty of water. Be contented with your natural beauty. Enjoy the view. I thank you. Thank you very much, Minister, for your special address. And as I indicated, just let us just permit him to leave at this time. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are we are coming to the close of the of the opening ceremony. And at this time, I believe that we are going to be rendered a song. Plant a little coconut.
Troy, are we, are we having this song? It's a video. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's a video, I, I am told. So we are going to enjoy that, that video now as Troy lead on this. Treat it. 
shelter. So we must get together as one and tell all the generations for a better future. We must turn to sustainable solutions. Yeah. 
banyak gajah besar dan uh, hari ini di sini kita Our special uh, guest, William. William, we thank you for the sterling contribution and the work that you have put into helping us organize this this workshop. Thank you very much, and for the remarks that you have made, Mr. Andel. We thank you for being here and being on that journey with us. As you indicated in your speech, you have been working. Icardi has been working with Grenada for quite some time now in helping to resuscitate the coconut industry. And we're indeed thankful that you can be at this training session with us and for the remarks. Uh, His Excellency, we thank you. We thank you for your passion. We thank you for the contribution that your country continues to make in the area of coconut development. And so we look forward to continue working with you and your country as we move forward in helping to build not just Grenada, but a regional coconut industry. Dr. Mairi, we are in, indeed glad to have you to be part of this training workshop. And we, we trust that uh, we thank you for the remarks that you have made in this opening ceremony, and we look forward to hearing more from you during the course of the, of the week. Thank you, you participants. I know that you, you have a week ahead of you. And I want to wish you all the best and trust that you would learn as much as you can and at the same time take some time to enjoy the warmth and the hospitality of Grenada. Thank you very much. That brings the end of the closing ceremony.